I don't know. I just got confused and I was nervous and <laughs> I was really nervous. So yeah, I think it's pretty common for them to divide uh, the interview between technical and non-technical live coding challenges and then um, and just an overview. And I think from what I've read, they can be anywhere between like an hour, hour and a half up to like four or five hours of interviews. So I think just be prepared for anything that may come your way. So my first one, I love this question because it was so easy, was what is responsive design? So basically what responsive is, adjusting your styling of the website, like the looks and feel of a website to make sure it works on all screen sizes. And what I could have added here, which I didn't, was how to implement responsive design using media queries. That basically goes within the CSS. Oh, and one thing I mentioned there that I found, I, I think was pretty useful was making sure to create mobile first designs. So the second technical question I got was, what is your first step when starting a new project? And I think that more than anything, it's just to review your workflow and make sure that your thinking process is correct when executing code. Basically for this, my answer was make sure that I got a good understanding of the, the whole project. The second part was taking it to paper. I'm a pen and paper kind of person. Um, I'm sure that people can use other resources. I'm sure there are thousands, but pen and paper is definitely my first go-to where I just write down kind of step-by-step -step the overall functionality and then the breakpoints of all the different functionalities. My third technical question had to do with comparison operators. What I want to share about this, it wasn't really one question. She gave me examples and, and asked me whether each thing was going to come out as true or false. Basically, what you want to know is the difference between double equal and triple equal. Double equal, best way to explain this is by using an example. So let's say you have a two and you want to double equal it to a string containing the number two. This would actually return true because the double equal disregards that it's a string and it actually the different data type, right? So this is a string and this is a number. Um, they're two completely different data types, but it recognizes that the number within the string is actually the same number as the number printed here. However, if you wanted to do triple equal, so let's say you do the exact same thing, but using the triple equal sign, this would actually return false. The reason being is actually the two is a number and a string of two is a string and you can check that using type of so that's basically um, the third one and there was a few examples of that and I had to answer which one and I got confused just because I don't know I just got confused and I was nervous and so those were the three technical questions I think that was it yes so next up was 